Hi, my name is Juan Chaitis. I'm City Councilman for District 1 here in Lubbock, and I am a colon cancer survivor. Uh, diagnoses were about, uh, I was about 42 years old, which again makes me 67. Uh, the, the denial point is where I was. There was some pain associated with my lower abdomen. I thought it might be appendicitis. Uh, let me go back a little bit. Uh, I was working at an, at an environmental lab at, at a refinery and every year we would go through physicals and they'd do a blood count. Make sure we weren't carrying any uh, carcinogens from the work that we did at environmental. And the uh, doctor called me into his office and said, Juan, your, your blood count is low. We need to figure out why, so he sends me to my family doctor at this point. And my family doctor looks at the lab results and said, you can't be two units low. He said, let's do some more testing. And sure enough, I was down two and a half units. So he said, let's do uh, upper lower GI, find out where the, blood's come, where the blood loss is. Well, when they went in to do the uh, lower GI, the sigmoid, the colon scope, the, the polyps that were present, just uh, he didn't need a biopsy. He immediately said it's cancerous. And uh, of course, when they give you the cancer uh, news, if you will, uh, it kind of, your, your world stops, time stops. Uh, you start thinking about all the things that you did, but even more so, what you failed or what you haven't done yet. So uh, me being a devout Christian, I, I wake up in the morning with prayer, I go to bed with prayer, and I can honestly say that great majority of my prayers have always been answered for some reason or another. And when I'm on the gurney, after the doctor says I have cancer, colon cancer, we're doing surgery tomorrow morning, you're going nowhere because the polyps are at a point of, uh, I forget what the term was, but they were ready to rupture. It said, if we remove the polyps, we'll have to go into emergency surgery. That's how bad it was. So I'm thinking, Jesus, God, just give me the opportunity to, uh, oh, I'm sorry, to see my daughter graduate. That's what I wanted to see. And this was still about three years away. And I'm thinking, I just want to see my daughter graduate. And they haul me off into my room. Next morning, I go to surgery. I wake up. I don't even know how many hours of surgery went. The doctor says everything went well. I said, well, what happened? And the doctor that he is, good, great sense of humor, he says, we took everything out from inside your, he said, use the word belly. We emptied you out. I saw what was there. We snipped it, and then we put everything back in its place. He says, we seem to have caught it all in time. Nothing, uh, it was cancerous. He said, uh, your chemotherapy, I recommend it, were his words. He said, and he, and he gave me the option. He said, you don't have to do it. So, but I recommend that you go through chemo. It'll be low dosages, so there'll be minimal to, to no, no changes in your lifestyle. And I'm thinking, I've just been diagnosed with cancer, and there's not going to be a change in my lifestyle. I said, okay, let's do the, let's do the chemo. Uh, I was going to chemo for once a week. It went for about an hour, hour 15, hour 30 minutes. And it was once a week for six weeks. And I take a week off and then start the routine all over again. So everything went, went well. And, and, and a word of encouragement to the people that are viewing this video. Cancer is not necessarily a death sentence if you catch it in time. I go to my colonoscopy now every five years like the doctor has said. I had mine done just uh, about six months ago. Air, clean bill of health. This is a family matter. This is a family matter. Do it. Take care of it. Do it. Uh, catch it early. 
survival rates are great. Cancer is beatable. My name is Juan Titus. I'm a colon cancer survivor, and you can survive it too.